Hey guys, you're watching Be Better Golf. This is Christo from My Swing Evolution. Hey guys. Uh, here in the annotation. And we're gonna play a nine hole match for money. Big money. I think I got a dollar on me. All I have is the 20, so I'll probably stiff them if I lose. Yeah. But uh, we're gonna do it, let's go. Stranger than it is, Christo only lives about 45 or 50 minutes with no traffic, which is never, here in LA. <laughs> And uh, Christo, your channel is all about what? Like if somebody asks you like one sentence, what your channel and journey is about? My channel is uh, it's about my journey uh, and it revolves around a, a practical way to improve your golf game by using Ben Hogan's lessons. And like I said in some of my other videos, I really think that the key that's gonna make a lot of golfers better, and I think Christo agrees with this, is not gonna be so much listening to experts, but it's gonna be through trial and error and helping each other out helping the other amateurs out. So uh, Christo's not a pro golfer, right? No. no. I'm not a pro golfer, but uh, I think both of us uh, have some, uh, kind of through crowdsourcing these problems, we're kind of finding some interesting solutions. Because you've gone in your journey, you've gone from like yeah. a what How to a what, what handicap wise. Uh, I was uh, a 14 and I've gotten down to my lowest was uh, two or three, 2.2 actually for one point. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, my original goal was to break 80. Uh, I broke par, and now my goal is to break 70. I've shot 70 twice. Yeah, that's so cool because the thing that when I, the phrase that bothered me when I originally started my channel was I had heard the USGA had said um, that everyone who's ever been playing golf for three years, you've reached your potential. You're not getting any better from that point. But you've been golfing for a long, long time before you started your, your real path to improvement. Yeah, I had over uh, 30 years of frustration. It was in my 40s that I began to improve my golf game, and now I have a game that I'm very proud of. Yeah, you'd love to go back to yourself and start the journey a little <laughs> if earlier. If I had known yeah, then right. what I know exactly. now, I might not work in TV. I might do something cooler for a living. Another funny thing is we both work in television too, so you can, uh, you can definitely tell on his channel, you can kind of tell on my channel. So, Christo, what started your My Swing Evolution? Uh, my Swing Evolution started because of a um, an inability to get off the tee. Uh, the game was miserable. I would be panic-stricken as I stood over the tee ball, and I'd look down the fairway. I didn't know if I was going to pull hook it or block slice it. I had literally no control, and maybe one out of six I would luck out and get in the fairway. Mm -hmm. And uh, the week... I got married, I played a round of golf. This was about two and a half months before I started my yeah. swing evolution. Mm -hmm. I was on the 18th tee box, 108 strokes on my scorecard, and I was out of golf balls. I couldn't even play the On 18th. your honeymoon? Yeah, I couldn't even, <laughs> or the, the bachelor party. So this was, is supposed to be a, a super fun round of golf, relax, and, and you're just furious. <laughs> yeah. No was, fun is going on at all. Embarrassed, yeah. shamed. Yeah. I felt full of shame, and <laughs> it was, and, and I love the game of golf, and the, and the game of golf should be a joyous thing. It shouldn't be something that gives you so much social anxiety. Mm -hmm. And so I just wanted to drive the ball better, and that's how it all started. And to be where I am now is just a dream come true. So, so as a present, you got a GoPro. Yeah, and, yeah, two months later, I got a GoPro as a present from my wife for Christmas, 2009. And then I went out to the golf course and saw my swing, and the answer was obvious. I had a terrible golf swing, and that started the journey projectile vomiting as soon as you saw your swing for the first time. <laughs> Pretty much. What a golf shot. Oh my god. Hogan F. Uh, a little short though. That was Christo from like 135 and he hit it just short of the green. And then this is my third shot from that was 95 yards, which I put on the green. You can see my ball over there on the left, and this is Christo chipping up. Now that chip is for birdie. He's a little short there as well. Uh, yeah, so so uh, Christo and I uh, were both on a list 
call, uh, by uh, a, web a website blog called birdieable.com of the top 10 YouTube golf channels. Uh, Chris was like number four and I was number nine or something like that. And um, so uh, when we were both on that list, we connected with each other online and uh, decided to get together and play. So we played the front nine socially and then we brought my camera out and uh, now this is for for pride and for money. But um, I'm already two down after two holes. A bad, uh, a bad putt on the first hole and some uh, and a bad tee shot on the second hole has me in an early hole. So uh, I just hit a very, very good, this 190 yard par three, I just hit a very, very good five iron, pin high, hands like but stone. left, yeah, hands like stone, because you can see my comebacker for par, and Christo, uh, he just, that was four par, so this is Christo four, bogey, so Christo got his in there, so this is for me to win the hole, which I should do since I... My putting was so bad this day. It actually uh, kind of sparked the whole Golly, return to my normal putting uh, routine as far as my normal putting practice routine. So um, I, uh, the match remains two up. This is the hardest hole in the course. That's water to the left. But uh, Christo kind of quacked one into that tree there. Yeah, it hit, it hit the tree and went right back into the fairway. It's going to be a long shot, but... Not in the water, though. I'll take that. No. Exactly. The water's the one thing you don't want. And Ooh. usually when I don't want to hit it left, I, I, I swing really yeah. fast. Because right. the, my miss when I course. swing fast will be a block, but... I tell you, that that water made me do weird <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I tried to avoid it, and I went directly at it. I was trying to avoid it, too. And I tried to steer a little bit, and then... You thought it was all. I mean, it was ridiculous. So Christo has about 300 yards to the hole, and uh, he hit it a little left. I dropped, and then Christo chunked one, chunked another. I hit it up onto the green. Christo put it up on the green. This hole is just insane for both of us. So Christo has that for a six. This is me for bogey. Miss. So I miss bogey. The hole was halved in six. So a very. Uh, Trying to make a horrible hole kind of exciting there. <laughs> There's smoke and mirrors. So, right now, Christo and I are playing in El Dorado and we're both playing terrible. I think uh, I know that I really, really wanted to play well today. So, my shot. Uh, on this hole, the uh, 14th hole, came, when came down in the fairway, and that was probably my best iron shot of the day. I really did the things that I'm trying to do in my swing, which interestingly is very different than what Christo is trying to do. But I really uh, compressed that one and got it started on the line really well. There was a five iron from 190, and I hit it pin high. Right yellow. Looking for Christo's ball and found his up against this tree. So yeah. he just has to punch out, which did a very good job of. So here's Christo. What I really admire about Christo's swing is at the top of his backswing, uh, which he didn't really complete there, so he, he thinned it. But just notice the triangle that gets made by his uh, arms. He's really uh, completely reinvented himself as a golfer, and uh, it's really uh, amazing his journey from what he was to, to what he is now. So that was me burning the edge, my birdie almost went in. And there's Christo putting up there. So Ooh. Christo's in for a six. So I'm putting for par there and nuked that one by. And if you miss this one, that's a four putt. So I guess my putting needs work because I've had three putts, two three putts and a four putt in just a couple holes. All right, so this hole is like, like I always say, this is like a bowling alley, this fairway. And Christo uh, hit his hit his drive to the left into the other fairway. And All right, so mine. this is a, uh, 
incredibly difficult shot. There's a there's a doable layup, but we're gonna go for YouTube history. It's 235 yards over water, and also he's got to hit this three wood hybrid sky high so let's do it oh you hit a great shot too. you see it come out no. it might have it might be right near where my ball is oh my gosh I am so glad I missed that because I literally was trying to play a high draw and that would have been in that water so Christo now is trying to get onto the green and make a one putt par. And uh, so, so here I am from 135 yards, and that was a really, really nicely hit pitching wedge. So just watch uh, my, my hand path. My mostly, uh, a lot of my golf problems come from, I get to the top and then my hand path goes steeper instead of going down and then towards the ball. So it's just a little th something that I have to work on. So uh, Christo missed that, so he'll make a bogey. And this is actually my first very good leg putt of the day. So that's a par for me. So I'm back in this match. I'm back down to just being one down against my swing evolution. So this is like a 325 yard par four. That one, uh, I blocked to the right. Uh, you can see that's the greatness of match play. You can really slop it up, but there's always a chance to stay in the match. And my, my shot went into the fairway after hitting a tree. And Christos went right through the trees and he's uh, in jail. So I have uh, same thing, like 100, another 190 yard shot, five iron. And I hit that really well because the ground there is all, it's pr it probably could have gotten a, a drop from there because of that lie it was, was like but. so muddy. I'm not like the best divot reader in the world either. Some guys can look at the divot and know exactly what you're doing right and wrong, you know? My divots used to be like the ball and then deep and then come up out. And what I want is the ball and then nothing and then divot shallow for a little while, you know? Right. That was a great so little shot. Christo punching out. I really like the way he uh, okay, upslope. He held his angle. Notice how his shaft and his spine afterwards in that punch shot were lined up. So here I have uh, kind of some scrambly looking grass down as my lie. But I know to get back in this match, I absolutely have to get this up and down to have a chance. So, and I hit a really great shot there. So I was pretty pleased with that. So here's Christo for par. The way I'm putting, I am stress over any level behind <laughs> any length putt. I, I am stressing over sweating it. So tell me, like when you uh, growing up and stuff, you you have a history in martial arts. Yeah. What what kind of stuff did you use to, like, since you were a young kid? Yeah, that was my thing. Um, when I was eight. Same age I started, I first played golf. I yeah. started doing martial arts. Yeah. And uh, and it was karate, hometown, small town, USA Goju room. And yeah, right. Did that for years and years, and then I moved to another town. And black belt? A, uh, yeah, I competed as a black belt. I yeah. won four championships. Youth, youth championships? Uh, I, under 18, I won two, and as an adult, I won oh, two. Oh, wow. I won the Florida Open, the Florida Games, and the Tampa Super Fights. That's three, isn't it? And you just can't hit to the head? No, you, 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 uh, it's more like Karate Kid. You can punch, kick anywhere. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. It's sport karate. Okay, got it. So you did that for a while, and then? Yeah, I did that until, um, until I was in college, and then I was invited to be in a karate movie, which is a dream come true. And that's why I changed my major from biology to theater, because I'm like, I don't want to make a karate movie. Yeah, right. You know? Yeah. And so, uh, then while I was uh, in college, um, you had to take electives in voice and dance. And uh -huh. so, since I was a black belt, the dance teachers are like, who is this guy that's mm -hmm. moving, flexible and mm -hmm. coordinated? And that's where all the girls were. So. Yeah, right. That's a good <laughs> idea. Started hanging out there. 
What was your favorite karate movie when you were there? Enter the Dragon. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. But there are some similarities. Martial arts and Gundam the Gosling. Yes. Uh, Roger Dunn told me that they're they're very similar the way you press the limbs. So this hole, uh, I got the match back to all square, and I made a great swing, but I pulled an eight iron for that, which was a mistake. So because I'm right on the the front of the green, Christo uh, just put it into the ground slightly, and he went into the bunker. He's a very very good bunker player especially with these new clubs that he has, which uh, on his channel he'll tell you more about. So uh, this is me lag putting, and I was really specifically concentrating on making great lag putts. Once I had four putted, I was, that was it. I was, putting for me is mostly about focus. So it's about pr uh, putting the time into it and, and your off time practice wise and focus. Yes. And Christo had it Beautiful. rolling pretty well this day, despite the rest of uh, Despite not having his great uh, full swing wasn't working that well, but his putting was very good. So this is, I need to make this to stay all square. I made it. One hole. For the Los Angeles area <laughs> amateur YouTube golfer championship. <laughs> hey, this is, a, this is a lot of fun. I, I hope that this is the beginning of Oh yeah, for sure. Either a beautiful sh friendship or a very bitter rivalry. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably both good for YouTube. All right, All right so, so final hole. So where are we at? All square. All square. Par five for uh, 501 yards. Let the best man win. <laughs> I'll go. Okay. Oh, yeah. I don't, don't want to have to make you rego. <laughs> the final hole in this nine-hole match. Nobody wants to look embarrassed. Nobody wants to lose but somebody is going to be extremely disappointed if they let it get away from themselves here. Well, All right, I hit a great shot down the left side, not uh, right in the, out of the center of the face, but still very good considering. Christo blocked that to the right. All right. And uh, very, really solid, one of his most solid drives of the day, but it was well to the right. And uh, so I have 238 yards to the back of that bunker, so I only need to hit it about um, 200 yards, so I hit a, a kind of like a punch six iron, so I knew even if I hit it perfectly and a little too much, it wouldn't go too far. And that, even though it was a little thin, I hit it really good. Watch this shot from Christo. This is, without a doubt, his best shot of the day. There's that small window that he's got to go through there. What a golf shot. With his hybrid, right in the and he window. really did it. It was About awesome. Time I, I was set up properly at a dress. A lot of times I'm not set up right, and then I just pull the trigger anyway. That's that's something you have to do is feel comfortable. So we're really even at this point. Christo has like 120 yards and uh, hit a very good wedge shot, but it was a yeah. little offline. It was a little short left. But it, the uh, then I had um, 100 and 110 yards but I tried to hit an easy pitching wedge. And for some reason recently, when I try to hit it easy, all my angles come together and I end up just nuking it. Same thing, like I'm- I was so nervous as It was so solid. When I, swung, when I swing easy, it's going like 20 yards further. Dude. I'm on to something. You gotta, you gotta play with the, the bad angles. You can't get those angles right. <laughs> I know. The fucking gas gets turned on. Yeah. No, that was a, actually a beautiful shot, and I, I was like, it, you were inside the line of my ball, and I was like, oh no. It would be dancing all <laughs> over the hole. No. Life. Very, very long. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hey, we, we're still. I got still to put got this, a good match. This awesome uh, short game on display for the world now too. Boy. That, yeah. That was it. So I went directly over the flag, and then uh, and long, and then I chipped it there, which was kind of a I let the grass get between me and the ball, and then the fringe did something differently than what I thought it was it would do. You see, you see it kick left. So I have about six and I have about seven seven and a half feet. For my bogey and here's Christo putting for birdie so if he makes this I lose if he two putts this I lose but he nuked it and this is where the drama really starts to unfold because 
Christo hit his to about eight feet, just outside of mine, so he didn't lose his turn. So he needs to make this. This is for the win. Not his best putting stroke. Christo taps in for six. So now, this is the setup. I need to make this seven and a half footer. It's uphill right to left. And I, if I miss this putt, I lose one down. If I make this putt, it's all square, tied. Yes. I actually buckled down and made a putt. Thanks for watching, guys. Check this out on the end. Hey, if you, uh, if you guys watched this long and, and suffered through, Christo didn't bring his best game today even close, and neither did I, but we're both uh, very competitive by nature, so we were grinding them, and neither of us wanted to lose. All square, it was a battle down to the end. Uh, I appreciate the competition, it was a great pleasure, and uh, we're definitely gonna do it again, I hope. I think we're very close in, uh, in skill, so uh, I think uh, kind of driving each other could get us I think that's yeah, a good to thing. Level, yeah. Definitely. So check out Christo. He's at uh, My Swing Evolution, which you search on YouTube. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, be sure to hit the button below. And that's it. Thanks for watching. What is a subscription? It's free. Oh, I thought free. Yeah. Yep, free, free subscription on YouTube.